Now in here we're going to define this curve here, if I should get to the front view on this side. We're going to define this curve you see here, which goes down and then gets rounded off around this area. We're going to define that over here with two edge loops. Before we start doing that, let's go back to the side view. And then let's define this curve we have here a little better. So I'm going to add in an extra vertex up here. Let's slide it down, press G and then Z and move it up. Let's add one in here, slide it up, press G and then Y and move it back to about here. And then take this and slide it also here. Let's move this up a bit. Now let's take a look here and make sure everything is looking good. So I'm just going to move this in the X axis. Now I'm going to take this and move it in the X axis. Let me just move this out slightly so it looks like a straight line but slightly bent. Add in two extra loop cuts in here. I'm going to press G and then Z and move this up to about somewhere here like this. Let's take a look here. I'm going to press G and then X and move this back to about here. And take this and move this back also just slightly so it defines that curve a bit more. Let me just move this out slightly. Take that and move it out slightly. Now let's put two extra vertices in here. And then let's define it on that edge. I'm just going to slide this vertex here back slightly to about there and then move this or slide it up a bit as well to about there. Let me just slide this in a little bit. Now let's take, let's take a look up here and start filling things in this area. Now to start things off, I think I will take one, two, three, four and then press F. Now let me take these two and press F to about here. Let me take this vertex here and move it in slightly, just a little bit. And I'm going to move this in also slightly and then move this out a bit. Now let me just get up here. I'm going to add an extra vertex in here and keep it where it is, right in the center. Now I'm going to take these two and press F once. Now let's move back down here and let's see how we can fill this area. Now I don't want to add in an extra vertex in here to try and fill this area. So I think we, we are going to have to fill this area here with a triangle. So before we do anything, let's add in the two loop cuts we need for this area, like so. And first of all, let me align the one on the left on this edge line here, just to start things off. I'm just going to put two of those vertices on those edge line there, and then uh, try to align it on the edge line in all of the images we have in our viewport. So I'm going to switch the top left one to the front view of the car. Maybe let's grab the whole edge and then move them together. I'm just going to press G and then Z and move this down. And I'm going to move it here in the X axis, maybe a little. Well, let me just press G and freely move it to about somewhere here like this. I'm going to press G again and then freely move it to there. I'm just going to keep doing that until we have it sitting directly on the cut line. Alright, now let's take the four we have back here and I'm going to press G and then Z and then move it down to about here. If we take a look here, we can try and define it by looking at this image we have here. So I'm going to deselect the one we have at the back and then press G and then Z and move this down a bit. Deselect the one there, press G and then Z, move this down a bit and then maybe in the X axis a bit like so. Deselect it and then do the same thing here, just a little bit like so. Very nice. Let me take a look at this one. Maybe I'll move it down in a Z a bit and then move it in a Y here. Now let's take one and then two and then press F. Let's add an extra vertex in here. Let's make sure it is aligned in all of our images in our viewport. Now let's take one, two, three, four, and then press F. I'm just going to move this in the X slightly. And then let's take one, two, and then press F. Now let's define this curve we have here a bit more. So let's take this edge we have here. 
and then use that to define that curve a little better. So I'm going to take, I'm first of all going to make sure the spaces between each of them are equal. So I'm going to apply loop tools from here all the way to the top side. Very nice. Now let's use that to define this curve a bit more. So I'm just going to take this one, make sure it's the active element, press your period and make sure the active element pivot point is active and then press S and then Z and scale this up a bit like so and then S and then X and scale this out a bit like so. And that should be good. I know it's not following this edge we have here but we can keep it as it is right now because it might cause us some problems if we try to follow it. Now let me just add an extra vertex in here. And let me take one, two, three, four and press F, deselect this one and press F all the way to here. I'm going to add in a loop cut in here to align with the one at the top. I'm going to press E and then F to align it with the one at the top. You should notice a red dot appear here, which is indicating that we are aligning with the edge on the top. So I want to move it close to that one to about some point here like this. I want to press G and then X and move it out slightly like so. Very nice. I want to add in two more. I want to press Alt and an S and then shrink it out slightly. If you take a look here, Alt and S and I'm going to shrink it out just slightly. Very nice. I'm going to take one, two, three, four and then press F. I'm going to take these two now and press F all the way down. Now let's move over here. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, press F and then take these two and press F all the way down. Now let's get out of camera view and go into full screen and see what we have here. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to get over here and then add in an extra vertex or edge loop in here. I'm going to press E and then F to align with the one on the right side and move it closely enough to about somewhere there. Now let me get out of full screen and then take a look here. I'm going to press Alt and S and then shrink this out just slightly like so. And I'm going to get in here and let's take one, two, three, four and press F. And then I'm going to take one, two, three, four and then press F. And then we'll just slide this one back so we have this nice squad over here. And then we press F to fill that in. Very nice. Let's get into full screen and out of camera view and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to press G and Z and move it up a bit. Making sure we have that nice edge going. Let's get back into camera view and out of full screen. Let's make our way to the back here. Now let's do our best and start filling things in this area. So I'm first of all going to take these four we have here and press F to fill that in. I'm going to slide this one down just a bit. Let me take one, two and press F for now. I'm going to add an extra vertex in here and align it to the cut line. I'm going to take this vertex and this vertex and I'm going to press F to fill in an edge between them. And then I'm going to move down here and take this vertex and then that one, I'm going to press F to fill in an edge between those two as well. And what I'm going to do is to add an extra edge loop in here. What I'm going to do is to press Ctrl and R to add an edge loop at the top here and then press E to align it with the one at the top. I want to move it close to about there. I'm just going to add in a vertex between these two vertices we have here. I'm going to add in another one here and slide it to about there. I'll add in one more to about some point here. Let me put one more between these two over here. Let me just take one, two, three, four and press F. I'm going to take these two and press F to about, let me add one more in here and press F to about there. I'm going to select these four and press F. Now I'll take one, two, three, four and press F. Now I'll take one, two, three, four and then press F. And then we'll just keep this side as a triangle for now. I'll just take these two and press F to about there. Now I'll take these two and press F to there. So we have a triangle here and a triangle here, but they shouldn't be a problem. Now let me get out of camera view and into full screen and see what we have in this area to see if we have to fix things a bit more. Now what I'll do is to take this one, move it in the X a bit, move this in the X a bit, 
I'm just going to move things in the X axis just to kind of follow the line a bit more. So we could just go into top view to do this. I'm going to do the same thing to the one on the right side. I'm just going to move them in. Let's enable the subdivision surface and see what this looks like. Very nice. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and then shade this smooth by right clicking and then selecting shade smooth. Now this is the point where I'm going to start using a mat cap. So I'm going to hover my mouse up here and then click on this drop down arrow and then enable mat cap over here. Now I'm going to switch the mat cap to this brown one we have over here. Let me go ahead and shade this back to flat and then disable the subdivision surface modifier for now. Let me go into full screen here and then go down here to work in this area a bit more. I'm going to take these two and move them down just a bit. Let me take these two and move them down just a little bit like that. Move this down just a bit. And I think that side should be pretty good. Let me re-enable the subdivision surface just to see what this looks like. All right, very nice. I'll go ahead and disable it again. All right, let's go back into camera view and out of full screen. Now we're going to work in this area down here. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to take all of this vertices here. So from here all the way to the center here, I want to extrude it down in the Z axis to about this point. So we're going to extend it beyond where the cut line is because this is going to be a guide mesh. So I'm just going to move it down a bit to about somewhere there like that. Let me take these two as well and extrude them down to about here. I'm going to press S and then Z and type in zero to flatten that area and move it down a bit to about there, just so it is aligned with these ones. I'm going to take these two and press F. Now what I can do is to take this vertex here and extrude it in the Y axis to about somewhere there like that. I'm going to press G and then X and move this out to about there like so. Let me just slide it out a bit more to about some point there. I'm going to move it in the x-axis a bit. I'm going to add in an extra vertex here and then try to round that area off a bit. Let me get out of camera view and go to the top view of this and see what we have. I'm going to move this out a bit more to about somewhere there. Very nice. Let me get into camera view. I'm going to slide this back a bit to about here. And I'm going to take this and slide it back a bit more. And I'm going to take these four vertices and I'm going to press F to fill them. Let's get out of camera view and see what we have here. Now we just have to fill this area. Press Ctrl and R here to align with this vertex we have on the left here. Slide it down to about somewhere there. Press G and X and move this out just slightly. Take this one and move this out slightly. Take these two and press F once just to see that curvature. I think it's good. Add in one more here and slide it up like so. And take these two and press F. I want to get back into camera view. And let's get out of full screen and take a look up here. I'm going to switch the image to the side of the car like this. And let's take a look at the front end. I'm just going to round the front end off a bit. From the reference images, I noticed they were a bit rounded. So I'm going to do that by adding in two extra loop cuts in here. I'm just going to press Alt and S and then shrink this out just slightly to round it off just ever so slightly. I'm going to add in two more in here and I'm going to take these two and press F all the way down. Now let's get out of camera view and take a look at what we have here. Let's enable the subdivision surface and see what this looks like. Okay, looking good. Let me disable the subdivision modifier. Let's get back into camera view. Now let's take a look over here. 
I'm going to get out of full screen so we can do this in side view. We're going to work in this area. So I'm going to edit mode, take all of these vertices here. I want to extrude it in the Y to about somewhere there. I'm just going to move it in a bit more just to be safe. I'm going to add an extra loop cut in here. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and then press F. And I'm going to take these two and press F once. I'm going to take these two as well and press F. Now this area is not really uh, important because you can see we don't have any panel going around that area. So we don't really have to pay much attention here. So all that we can do is just add in two extra loop cuts and then press F twice to fill in that area. Let's go back into camera view and let's work in this section we have over here. So first things first, what I'll do is to take one, two, three, and four, and I'm going to press F and let's just keep a triangle in here. Now I'm going to take these two and then press F, F, and let me get into camera view so we can see this better. Very nice. I think I'm going to take this one and slide it down a bit to about here. Take these two, slide it down a bit to about there. I'm going to take these two and press F. Well, let's take these four. Now if you take these two and you're pressing F and it's not working, that's because uh, this structure here is not allowing you to do that. If we should delete this vertex and then try pressing F, it should continue on. But because of the extra edges we have on the sides of it, it can't really decide which area you're trying to fill to. So I'm going to take these two, or these four, and then press F. And I'm going to take these two and press F. And just like we did with the bottom, I'm going to fill this side as a triangle. And I'm going to take these two and then press F. And I'm going to fill this side as a triangle. Or we could just keep it as a quad. Because I think it looks like a quad. One, two, three, four. If we should slide this back, it would look like a quad. Let me just keep it where it is. Still looks like a quad. It's just a weird quad, but it's good enough. Do the same thing here. Take one, two, three, four, and then press F. So we have a quad in here. And I'm going to take one, two, three, and then press F. And I'm going to just fill this area as a quad. Now let's get out of camera view and see what this looks like. Okay, not bad. Now this area is mostly flat, so these triangles shouldn't really cause much of a problem. It's not extremely flat, but it's flat enough to not make the triangles cause a problem. Now the final thing we'll do is to extend the face in here. So I'm going to take this one and extrude it in the Y axis to about there. I'm going to take these two and then press F. I'll add an extra loop cut in here. Or first of all, let's take this vertex, get into full screen and out of camera view and see where this vertex is. All right, I'm going to add in that extra vertices, slide it up to about here and add in two more. And I want to take these two and press F all the way to the bottom. I'm going to take all of these and move it in the X axis just a little bit. Very nice. Let me just move this in a bit. Okay. Very nice. 